The next part of the uh, Roku Ultra Amazon Fire TV Cube comparison is the uh, remotes. You can easily tell the remotes look noticeably different. Common grounds they both have a power button, a uh, microphone button, fast forward and wind controls, play pause controls, home co uh, buttons, back button, whatever. Whenever you look at the end of it, whenever you look at the difference, say, at the differences uh, close up. For the Roku Ultra remote, all I know is we'll do it, so you can easily tell. Much different layout here, like say, you see the power button, whatever, you can speak into it, whatever. Back button there. All these functional buttons right here. Back, microphone, settings, whatever. But one thing that Roku Ultra, remote, even Roku remotes have is all these, it's like four shortcut buttons. This one's configured as Netflix, Sling, Hulu, CBS All Access, and a beat button. Some shortcuts anyway. But the top, but uh, the shortcut buttons on any Roku remote varies. Like ones uh, sold at Walmart will probably have a uh, a Voodoo button. Somewhere even in it varies anyway. And if the car and if the car the uh, buttons look different. You gotta remember anyway. It could be the pain and it could be the lighting anyway. The Amazon Fire Cube remote has much noticeable differences, I guess. This could be directional buttons right here. As a speaker for uh, if you're using Alexa. You like press this button says Alexa find me a hooker, whatever bullshit like that. Or say Alexa turn on uh, Fox Nation. I think that's menu, some button. I think it's go back. And say play, fast forward. This could be your volume control right here. Oh yeah. So that the uh, Roku remote does not have is a mute button. It's much more slim anyway.